Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnaughman at YouTube with a, another model video. 72nd armored uh, vehicle which we have not done for a while though this has been in the works for a bit. Attack kits 172nd Marmon Harrington Mark II armored car. Used and manufactured by the British, this was fielded in uh, Africa, very uh, early war and utilised around the World War II period. Very, very strange piece and without any background information, it's hard to know um, what period, time, use or uh, what not. Not very uh, common or well known, though definitely a very interesting piece of uh, kit by a manufacturer I'm very unfamiliar with. Let's uh, crack it open and have a bit of a look. Unboxing, the model is very, very simple. Tiny sheet of decals for a couple of markings, a plastic wrapped runner, and one set of instructions, colored. We've also got some schemes printed on the uh, back of the box with uh, dates and companies involved a uh, very um, brief but non-existent piece of uh, the history the decals are water slide the model even though it has fairly crisp detail the proportions and details are a tad on the questionable side due to low parts count uh, the casting quality is not 100 percent up to scratch with uh, very large uh, flash molds or lines uh, this is from plastic spilling from the two parts of the mold uh, joining. Not very difficult uh, to clean up, but uh, it could make the fitting an interesting issue. In the end, assembly wasn't too bad. There was some uh, noticeable gaps, uh, keeping the guns in place as well as the uh, front armoured flap was uh, quite a challenge. A bit of putty, extra glue, reinforcements and imagination was uh, definitely required. Instructions were more than um, desirable in exact placement of uh, bits and pieces. The under running gear was quite nice, tight and uh, interesting and the uh, wheels were just uh, very very weird and getting that uh, strut placed across uh, the back area was uh, very very uh, bizarre. Nonetheless it all came together though unfortunately once the uh, primer was applied via rattle cam, uh, automotive uh, lacquer, it completely uh, oozed and slid off the model as if some sort of uh, oil release agent or something coated the kit. So, SMS Ultimate Paint Remover, uh, any sort of other paint stripper or uh, brake fluid would also uh, do the trick was used to strip the primer off the uh, entire of the kit as well as they give it a bit of a rinse on the water and uh, a soap up. A second round of uh, primer was applied to check for uh, imperfections, seams, whatnot, and the paint was finally able to stick that round. I'm not one for washing my uh, runners and I'm unsure if this was just my kit or um, attack hobbies is overall like that. Afterwards we uh, utilised Gyano to oxidise uh, red primer, give it a bit of a colour and slowly with multiple tones of uh, lacquer greens built up a gradient effect of light to give it that uh, military uh, green colour and a tad of uh, weathering in the desert. Uh, bits like the shovel, guns, wheels and all that jazz had uh, hand painted acrylic and lacquers via brush. The colouring in this video is absolutely uh, awful. Anyway, this was followed by a few coats of uh, slush wash via uh, black, some uh, browns and uh, sand colours, mostly by uh, Mr. Colour or SMS. Everything was given a top coat of SMS uh, clear matte and uh, pigments were employed to build up that sand dust weathered look in the uh, desert. Uh, weathering pencils were applied in uh, weathering and chipping and uh, giving a definition in the uh, crevices and corners and lines and whatnot. 
few more pin washes for building up around the details and the edges and joins and whatnot, and an overall effort in multiple sessions, especially on the undercarriage bottom and wheels for um, as nice of a look as possible. Uh, that definition in multiple methods. The kit looks absolutely fantastic. In the hands of a more skilled modeler, you would uh, probably get an absolute uh, model-ready, uh, competition-friendly, uh, fantastic, uh, accurate build. Uh, through my eyes, it's uh, not too bad. I could have put a bit more attention in uh, putting and assembling or whatnot, but uh, it stands together and uh, looks competent. In the way of uh, painting, not doing a tank for a while, I wanted to give it a bit of a gradient look, uh, do the weathering via both uh, airbrush and uh, every other method I had at my disposal under the sun, and just blending multiple methods to build up that definition. Uh, I feel that this model has been weathered uh, nicely compared to other tanks I've uh, done in the past. In uh, conclusion, my efforts are alright, can't complain, really enjoy this piece, I uh, love to display it. In the way of the kit, uh, I recommend it as it's the only uh, 70 second version that's affordable. If you wish to go full accurate, uh, there are aftermarket sets, resin versions with etch and uh, whatnot. You can uh, spend a serious amount of money to get something that's a lot nicer. Though uh, for the casuals, it's uh, definitely fine, or the uh, wargamers. Not a very beginner friendly kit. I'll definitely have a few 70 second items under my belt in um, a diverse range of uh, brands and subjects from Airfix and whatnot with a bit of a challenge. Uh, for anyone with any sort of uh, experience, uh, definitely uh, crack away at it, but uh, there is just a few points to be aware of. Um, it's not the greatest in fit. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed another armor video. It is long overdue and uh, some more should definitely be in the works at uh, some point. Uh, give us a pop off if you uh, uh, did fancy it. Thank you very much for watching as always until next time. Always stay tuned for uh, more content and weekly to two videos a week uploads. Have a look at our Facebook. We've always got something going on there. Uh, the description section is always rich with uh, references and links and uh, other um, interesting areas to check out a part of the net or uh, communities. Uh, shoot off a message or uh, question or comment. I'm very happy to interact and answer anything um, that is uh, bugging you. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.